Hi guys, look what I've got sat here. It is Beta FPV X Knight 5 inch. Sit there, let's get this unboxed. So here it is X Knight 5 from Beta FPV. This is, the, they still call it a toothpick. So this is a five inch toothpick, but it doesn't really seem like it's gonna be a toothpick to me. Like I said on the intro, this is a sub 250G quad. So basically you don't have to register it. So extremely light, and it also runs off a 6S battery. That's right, a 6S sub 250 gram, five inch quad. That's quite a feat. So let's open it up. Here it is. Props. QR code, you know I love a QR code. Uh, that's your control board for the um, OSD in the camera. You will need that at some point. And here she is. The X Knight 5. And look at that. There she is. Now she looks pretty sweet to me. And she is, I've got to say, she's extremely light. She feels light in the hand. I think without battery, they're on 144 grams without battery. So that is, that is, I mean, you know, a strap of success to this. This, this is gonna, this should be like lightning. I've got one of the success batteries that they recommend using which I had shipped with it. So this is a 550 MAH 6S 75C battery. And this thing's pretty goddamn light as well. So obviously it's got to weigh just over hundred grams. We'll get everything on the scales in a minute. But yeah, all in, sub 250 gram. And she is light and she is going to be fast. So let me get my scales and we will weigh this right now. So there's the quad itself. We obviously need the props to do this um, weight exercise. And they give you these pack of props here. And these are the gem fan, and these are the 5125, if that means anything to anyone. Low pitch prop, they've got a funny locking uh, fitting mechanism on them. But in the bag, it's not just one set, you get two sets. So four and four, they give you two sets in a bag, which is very nice. So one spare set comes in the bag. You get an Allen key as well. But these gem fans, I've never actually used these before. If I get that camera to focus, they've actually got um, the middle bit missing and it comes in the bag. You insert the middle bit into the prop and then you only use two of these, two of these bolts per prop. And that is it. So obviously that reduces weight even more. So let's get these open because I've, I've never done these. Open this, tip this out. Let's find a nice place for it to go. It can go up here. So you get these plastic inserts. You can see that. You get the plastic inserts and the plastic insert you put in the hole and then the screw goes either side. There we go. So that slots in there and you just push that in it goes in all the way there, and it gives you your holes for the bolts. If you can see that. So I'm going to do these four, get these on, and let's talk about this five inch, because the five inch is what I really want to talk about. So there you have it. I've put all the props in place. Just two little hex bolts in each prop. Obviously reduces the weight, like I said. So now for the real test, we are going to stick this on my scales and see what it does. So hang on. Here we go. Scales are here. <coughs> Zero it off. Stick it on. 143. So 143 is not bad. They said it was 144. So I'm happy with that. Let's get that battery. This is the recommended battery. So let's hope this does it as well. So this is, like I said, this is the 550. 
and we seem to be over. Perhaps it's my scales not being level, but I'm trying to get it on. D51. <sighs> Two five two. It's almost. I yeah. There's something. Something's not quite right. Maybe, but something's weighing a little bit heavier than it should. But the quad, like they say, one four four, bang on. So this battery is weighing slightly over, which is unfortunate. I'm going to try every way possible. Yeah. So 251 is as close as I can get to it. So maybe I can cut a little bit of strap off and it will actually be 250. So it's really close, guys. I would say it's there. I would say, you know, maybe my scales are a little bit dubious. So let's go with the 250. So there she is. Let me see if I can do my best to tell you a little bit about her. So let's see if I can do my best to tell you a little bit about what's going on in this 5-inch 6S super light racing quad. Uh, Motor-wise, we've obviously got the um, we've got the 1805 1550KVs. So they're a super low KV for the 6S. So they should be they sh they should be ample. They should be you know super frosty it should go like the clappers to be honest with you i've actually got a crossfire receiver in here because you know how i like my crossfire you've got the baby cadex in here so this is the baby cadex rattle that should be a lovely picture so great little camera in there We've got this X frame, hence the X Knight, and apparently this carbon is like a T800 carbon fiber, if that means anything to anyone. But it's, I'm not sure how well this will take a heavy crash because it is pretty thin. So I think you should know a little bit about flying and what you're doing before you take one of these on because you may crash it and it may break instantly. Nice little antenna on the back there. This is obviously a right hand polarized 5.8 standard stuff. Looks very nice. This is stuck into the VTX. The VTX is obviously Beta Flight's own as well. VTX is the MO2. I think they actually use that on quite a lot of their stuff. You've got the flight controller in here, which again, it's the F4 and it's the 35A on the A10. So the 35 is a continuous amp draw. So it should be very good. Beta Flight's own flight controller again and ESC board, so it should be tried and tested. It should be very good. And that's about it, I think, guys. You've got your nice hard plastic canopy, which does feel feels very tough, very nice. Nice cable. You've got the capacitor chucked in the back there. It's a great location. Build quality is exceptional. I really do like it. It's very nice. Nice little strap here. Like I said, on that on the scales, what was it, 251, 252? If I was getting nitpicky, I could probably lose that much of this actual strap and you'll boom, you'll be bang on that 250. So yeah, you can get these with Crossfire, with FR Sky, a whole range of receivers. They'll do it for you and post it. These are all set up, ready to go. I've already plugged this into Betaflight. Everything's programmed up, everything's ready. All I need to do is basically bind my radio controller to this, make sure my switch is in the correct place and go out and fly it, which is what I'm gonna do. And I'm looking forward to it actually. I'm looking forward to how fast it's gonna go. But I mean, yeah, look at it guys. It looks absolutely super. I'm very impressed. Love the look of it. The gem fan props look very nice on there as well. It is so light. I mean, if you if you could feel like, I mean, next to one of my other quads, just, just to give you a comparison, the Apex build I did, everything all on that, you're looking over 800 grams. I mean, oh my God. This, on a little 6S, here's the 6S battery. This is going to be like lightning. So that is what we're going to do right now, guys. Stay tuned, because I'm going to get in that field and fly this like the clappers. Here we go. 
Okay, here we go guys, X-05. Really light. It's quiet as well for 6S. Tuning needed, but definitely some tuning needed. She's light so quick. It's the turn, it's actually turns. Stops on the dime, turns, nice. Bit of prop wash. Things have to be bloody tuned out, but it's, oh, that turns, so nice. Something I'm not used to, turning on a dime like that. Turn and stop, beautiful. Let's go this way. Hopefully there's enough power in it and it'll start again. We can find it in this long grass. Why you have a buzzer? You have to remember where it is. Ta da! Quad. There we go. Send me off about that then. So there we go. That's all part of. Um, Droning, unfortunately. Let's turn this controller off. So yeah, it's all part of the game. You will have to find your bloody drone at some point. This one's almost like an ESC went or something, I don't know. Something weird happened. It just, you saw it, it sort of collapsed on the one side. <sighs> I mean, it's all right, it's good. I, I like the way it turned, it turned fast. But I mean, you saw it fall out of the sky. I'm gonna put the footage up. I'm gonna put it up exactly what happened so you can all see it. I think there's either an ESC board problem or a motor's gone slightly because the way it fell, it's on crossfire. It didn't lose receiver connection, but it just dropped out of the sky. So either there's a dodgy motor on it, you can see it's gone. I don't know, I still like it though, nice and light. Quick. Yeah, it's okay. okay. So there you have it, I hope you enjoyed that flight footage. Uh, that's probably one of the first times I've had to go and fetch a quad for quite some time. Maybe I'm not flying hard enough, but there's a definite problem with this quad here. And I'm not gonna, knock about it too much it's obviously got an issue with either an esc or a motor or something like that because the way it, the way it just dropped out and crashed out is sort of suggests that it's got one of those issues so what do i think about it with the problem aside 
It's really light. I did like the way it flied or flew. It's very nimble, very fast. And the surprising thing that I found was how quiet it was. Nice and quiet. I'm, I'm starting to like quiet quads for some reason. But yeah, I like the less noise and it made a lot less noise than I thought it would for a 6S and a 5 inch. It's obviously got to be these pitch of the um, propellers. But yeah, very nice, very nice noise. The way it turns on a dime is, yeah, it's, it's really quick, very agile, nimble. If it worked properly out the box for me, I'd probably fly it again. But as it is, obviously, I'm going to see if I can send it back just because of the issues or maybe take it apart or maybe just bin it. But if you're looking for one, I, I suppose a sub 250 is the whole point of this. And are, are we at sub 255 inch? Just, I think. I think I've had to add a um, Crossfire T antenna to this. And that actually, with the zip tie, pushes the weight over a little bit. So you've lost a little, you've lost your sub 250 category just about. And I know I'm going to start having to add bits of tape or I'm going to have to find a zip tie. And am I going to want to weigh these things to make sure I get the right zip tie and in the weight? And, you know, it starts to get, you are going to have to add things and your weight's going to differ a little bit. And then obviously that battery that I've got is slightly out as well. So it's quite hard to get it as a sub 250, but it did it did weigh out of the box exactly what Beta FPZ, FPV said, and that was 144 grams. So it's very light. You can stick a lighter battery in it, and you've definitely got a sub 255 inch, definitely. Apart from the problem, I liked it. I've got a I've got the X Knight four inch as well, which I'm going to do a little review on, and I will compare how they flew. Um, for what flight I had. So that's it guys, Beta FPV 5 inch sub 250 gram X Knight. Thumbs up, thumbs down, I'm a little bit in the middle. There you go, that's it guys. Make your own minds up, hit that subscribe, hit the bell, thanks a lot.